Governor, the big question of the day is uh, the people brought forth what they say is evidence. It's more suggestions on where to look for evidence. Do you anticipate uh, conceding from the race anytime soon, or do you believe that more investigating needs to be done? Here's my, my statement from the very beginning is we just want to have, you know, confidence in the integrity of the process itself. The idea of losing a close race is not of a concern to me. I won by an even closer race. So races are won and lost by close margins. The, the only reason that I want to ensure the process is done is that this is far bigger than just one race. It's bigger than just one state. It's bigger than just one year. As we rely more and more on electronic voting, uh, in, in the digital calculation of things, in the electronic calculation of things, it is incumbent upon us to make sure that we understand the integrity of the process and that it is not able uh, to be manipulated. And we do know, for example, that there are counties where there are more votes that have been allotted to myself, the Attorney General, and, and others who are running than there were ballots cast. How is this possible? I think these things people want to get answers to. And if you're talking about Anderson County, I believe that they've explained that they had not put the absentee ballot information in when they had given in their original number, and it, that's it how they explained it out. I've not, this is the group that, that is bringing these things to the forefront, I'm not a part of. I, the, you hear these things as I hear these things. But there are many people that have concerns and want answers, and it would seem the easiest way to get them in many respects would be just to provide these voter logs. That is the response. I think that's what they're asking for. They were asking for voter logs. They yeah. want to know if there were any subpoenas. Um, but there have been some in your party who have questioned whether um, anything that's been found so far or suggested so far would have impacted the election with 5,000 votes. Do you believe that there was fraud in your election? Again, I don't know. I really don't. This is what I think people are trying to determine. What I would like, just as a citizen, but certainly as the governor as well of this state, to make sure that we have answers to that. Because whether someone is a liberal or a conservative, a Democrat or a Republican, no matter how they're registered or what their ideology is, they should be concerned about making sure that we have confidence in the electoral process because it could affect both general elections and, uh, and primaries as well. Both parties should want to make sure that the process is sound. What will you do tomorrow after the re-canvas is done? If the re-canvas holds, or the margin it should, of holes, it should will, will, you, will you concede Primarily. then? We'll say, let's cross that bridge and come are, let's find are out. Are you I don't intending wanna... to sue to, to have Again, this investigated? There's so much that I don't yet know, not only as to what the process will be tomorrow, but then additionally, uh, what other information will come forward. There's a lot of people, even beyond this citizen group, uh, that are looking at things and what that information is they're looking at, what will come of that, what each of them intends to do. Uh, is going to help to determine answers to those questions. You've seen some have questioned your strategy in this process as a political strategy setting up for next year's national election. And if there is a question on whether President Trump wins re-election, that he may call into question some of the things you've called into question. Are you playing on a, a larger strategy? Yeah, there are a lot of questions a, about that. Sure. I mean, that's a big hypothesis. <laughs> this is the first I've heard of that. So... I've, what you're asking me, I've not had anybody ask me about. But I will say this. There is no question. These same machines that are used here are used in other states and they're used nationally. So there's certainly good reason to believe there's correlation between a lack of integrity or confidence in integrity in a process in Kentucky and in any other race that might take place. So, are, are you concerned about the down ballot ticket then? With the Republicans won across the board there, sure. Are you concerned that those that those elections may be uh, tainted or should be in question? Again, I the outcome of those was so wide that it's not really it's not even within the margin of error. What we know in our race is that it is within the margin of error. In many states, you'd already have an automatic recount. We're not such a state. Ours is a very different and unique process that people go through. The re-canvas being the first, and this has been done probably a couple dozen times in recent years in this state at different levels. The re-canvas itself is as much to make sure that the numbers that were written down were in fact written down. Not likely to change a lot. It just isn't. Nobody expects that, not myself nor anybody. But you go through that because that's the first step. The real question is, is there confidence in the voter logs themselves? The digital data that was taken 
can it be relied upon? So how long of a time frame are we looking at? Are we looking at the Again, potential that you could still know. be questioning this when we get into early December and the inauguration is to take place? Everything has to be done based on the law and the amount of time that is allocated. So the certification um, and even the definition of that, what is or isn't the official definition of certification, but per the law, the Board of Elections has to certify the results by the 21st of November. Within 30 days of that, an individual, myself or any person, could challenge uh, the election uh, results. That then puts it on the legislature to make a determination, doing a blind draw of House and Senate members to determine whether they would agree that there's enough information to justify a recount, a re-election, or whatever. So there's a lot of potential steps that have been laid out in advance as to how they have to unfold. But will you challenge the election? Again, it's, it, I've, I don't know how I many know. more different ways I can say it. At this stage in time, that is going to be determined by information that does or does not come out in the days ahead. One of the fastest, most expedient ways to get this done would be if there's transparency. Because again, no matter how a person is registered, no matter which side they support politically, we should want to have confidence in the process. So I think the more transparency there is as to those complaints that have come in, the investigations that are or are not taking place, whatever subpoenas are necessary to get the information. And one of the smartest things to do would just make these voter rolls available for people to look at. I mean, it, it, I don't know why we wouldn't, actually. Why do you think the election was close? Because people on both sides voted in almost equal proportion, it would seem. But, I mean, what, that's what, what makes elections I mean, close. Alison, Alison Ball blew out her competition. Oh, sure. and, yeah, and, and she and did then, last time. And yeah. there, was, there wasn't Daniel, much... Daniel Cameron yeah. and... Aaron no, Ryan all of them Forrest by much well. wider margins. I mean, think about this. But in, in well, fairness to each of them, the, when you're in the governor's seat, no, it's, the governor's race got the most votes, had the most attention. It was the, it's the top of the ticket, literally and figuratively. It's the point where it has the most controversy. People take the greatest number of stances on things. I've been a governor for four years. I've taken point on many issues, a number of which have been highly unpopular with certain people. So for all these reasons, you would expect it's going to have the kind of attention that it has. Were you just too unlikable in the end? Do you think that you became unpopular? We'll find out. I mean, I look at it this way. We got more votes than any Republican candidate for governor in the state has ever gotten by a pretty significant margin. So, you know, popularity is a function of what? Who knows? I mean, you could, it's a, by definition, different things to different people. It doesn't, popularity doesn't matter. Votes matter. And at the end of the day, whoever is the winner of the popular vote will be the next governor. And I've encouraged the attorney general uh, as well as my team who are working with transition people on his team to move forward as if that is a distinct possibility because it is that he could be the next governor. So too is it necessary to ensure the integrity of this process. So these are not mutually exclusive. Moving in parallel to make sure this state above all else is well cared for. And if we have a clear and definitive vote that people have confidence in, and he's the guy, God bless him. I, I, I want what's best for Kentucky. When you look back at how close the race came down, is there anything you would have done differently leading up to it? Are there things? I've had this conversation with you before. I don't, I've yeah. never lived my life looking in the rearview mirror. You can always, with hindsight, say coulda, woulda, shoulda, if a data. But I've never done that, and I, and I don't imagine I'm going to start any time in the near future. I don't. I look out, I look out okay, the window. Can I just ask one last question? This is, this, this is the one last question. Sure. You know me. I'll... I ask you unfiltered questions as well. And there are some in your party who say this is just the governor not admitting that he didn't win something and not conceding I, and I've stepping away. I've lost before. That's, that's absolute nonsense. I've lost much more handily in the past. I've won by smaller margins in the past. That's the nature of this. This isn't my career or my life. This is the first political job I've ever had. But I've only been in the political arena for the last five, six years, either as a candidate or as an elected official. So, I mean... People have a thousand hypotheses of many different things. And, you know, this is America. People are entitled to their opinions. But above all else, the one thing that is critical is that all Americans want to have confidence in the electoral process. They have to believe that their votes are counted, that they are counted legally, and that there is integrity in the process. That's all I want out of this. That and what's best for Kentucky. And the people's voice should be heard. And if the people want me to be the governor, great. If they don't want me to be, be governor, that's also fantastic. Not surprising. These things are finite periods of time. They're determined by the people. 
Uh, but we have to believe that the process works. And in an electronic day and age, there's increasing concern that um, that may not always be the case.